Hey guys. Hey you guys, it's me and Lodge and we're back with another video. If you see the title already. So today, we are doing tips for freshmen in high school. So, we know a lot of you guys are freshmen and, and excited about- We're making this video even though we just had a little brother that was literally just a freshman. So he needed this video, he was rude. But, so, let's get started. Okay, tip number one. So my first tip is that if you have an older sibling, sibling that drives, I had an older sibling that drives and my little brother had an older sibling that drives, don't ride with your older sibling to school because you're always late. He was late because he never got ready. I'm just telling. I what, was always in the car I'm before I'm just him. telling what Nadi told me and I had the same problem and didn't try to say it was me. I Nadi had 20 ounces. I came out with like, like 40, 30. And I had four. <laughs> so, don't ride to school with your older siblings because they don't care. You don't care. I was in the car waiting for him. I didn't point it. Well, that's what we're doing now. So, it's a wrong one. Okay. Uh, for tip number, number two. two. Do not follow your school supply list that you find at Walmart or online. You most likely will not need half of the things that they tell you that you have to buy. Just get notebooks maybe and Take go through your school. first day and everybody will let you know what you need to get because. Do you got a problem? Do, do you not agree with that? But do you do you not have follow a the school supply list? Because the first tip was about you. So. No, it wasn't. It sure. wasn't about you. No, it's not. Cause it, it need to be about, about you. Me and all my it was tardies. about you making me late for school. I didn't make her late for school. How many tardies did I come out with when I was in eighth grade? I don't know. It wasn't my fault. Anyways. No. Oh, please. No. What y'all trying to do? What? Like, bro, you he just popped about the blue. What y'all trying to do? You know. Anyways. 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 Who you are? That nigga be singing his, he like, sing, yeah, sing your, sing your song. Sing your song, wait, sing a song. Oh, nigga, I don't even know the song. This song older than me, and it's about your age. It's older than you. Leave me alone. Anyways, so. Camera on focus. 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 So, the third tip. Your blurred. I'm sorry, y'all. Let's just stay still. Oh, we'll see what happens when number three moves. I'm gonna go back. Okay. Okay. Tip number three. So my third tip is don't believe your teachers that that came before you went to high school. They say like, oh, high school is so hard. Yes! They don't, the teachers oh don't care about you. The teachers are not gonna help you. That's a lie. That in is. high school, they still treat you like you're in middle school. Those teachers, they do care about you. If you ask for help, they, they will find will. a way to give it to you. Yeah. So don't. don't believe them and don't let them scare you. They're just trying to, yeah, they're. Because you know when you was in like elementary school, they used to say that about like yeah, first grade they and did. second grade. And, and they stuff. said that every year. And I yeah, still and never caught the like, whiff of it. Yeah, it was the same thing throughout. Now, college, stay tuned for that video because that is a completely different story. That's all I have to say. Okay, it's tip, tip number, number four. four. Okay. Tip number four. Um, work hard and actually take it serious because oh my gosh. the GPA yes. is a real thing and, and it get... will affect you literally. I did um, my first semester. I did not take it serious. Like I was still picking. I was in that middle school mindset. Like I could get a bad grade, and they still gonna pass it. No, Even I if failed in that. Spanish by one point, and it will. It you'll feel like it's a waste of time, and they still won't let you through. So make sure you take it serious and 
that could doctor GPA and it could take you yeah. all four years to get it back up. So and even if you don't, like even if you do fail, it's re it's really honestly it's about your GPA because when you're in the 12th grade, in 12th grade yeah. your GPA don't move like all the other yeah. years. So when you're in 12th grade and you're scrambling to try to get into college just because your GPA is so low, it won't be. I personally didn't have this problem, but I know a lot of people that did, yeah. and that's not a fun thing to do. And a lot of co colleges they don't care about like you know oh this person's really trying to oh, good now. You haven't tried in four years. To don't school. try to. Don't try to try now. And your freshman year, by you having nothing else, that score will either yes. jump real high or so just once be it's low. High, it, if you do do bad, you got time. But once it's low, you have to build, build that, that up. up. So, like a credit score or something. Yeah. Which takes years. So. So make sure you take your GPA serious. And yeah, that's. I'm moving into the next yeah. tip at that point. Okay. For tip number five, please do not let your friends influence you like they did in the, I don't know about y'all, but I know a lot of people that were influenced by their friends and took the wrong path in high school because once you get into high school, there are different things coming your way. Like there's drugs, there's bad kids, there's good kids. Yeah. There's a, it's like, you know, a whole, whole new world. Crowd. Don't let other kids influence you because at the end of the day, you're going to be stuck with your decision and what you do in those four yeah. years. Because honestly, your four years in high school, nobody else is going to say it, but I'm going to say it. They do determine how you're going to be for the rest of your life. They do. So just because you want to be like the cool kid in class or the class clown or whatever, don't mess yourself up trying to impress mm -hmm. everybody else. Because don't. when you get old and you down in dirt and you don't have no money, you don't have no way to do nothing, them other then kids ain't going to be there for you. you. Yeah, they either going to be somewhere struggling with you or, or struggling over you. Exactly. So, that's yeah, tip number five. All right, tip, tip number six. six. Make that good connection with someone. Like, make useful connections. Like, even if it's a student that you just really get along with and you or feel like y'all have a lot in common, or a teacher that you feel like you can go to and talk yeah. to, or even grade-wise, like, if you're struggling or something, make sure you have that one person that you could probably go to and, like, because they'll still, the teachers yeah. that you make connections with, when you get in college, they'll still be there for you. They will. Yeah. If you need them. They're not just going to, like, follow you around. Yeah. But if you need them, they'll still be there for you. And make useful connections with, like, friends and stuff. Because when, this is getting into a whole nother video. I'm not even going <laughs> to, I'm trying to stay away from college. But when it comes to college, you're, even though those people may not be there with you, you're going to need that support system. Yeah. Because, um, okay, I had a best friend since third grade. And then we got to sixth grade, we met a new girl, and she became part of our friend group. So there's three of us, and our initial spell rap, and we're like, you know, and that relationship kind of gets, ugh. Anyways, I, long story short is I have amazing friends that I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be friends with for the rest of my life. And yeah. I feel everybody needs that coming out of high school. And like a lot of people that I know, they found that in college, but it's just not the same. Because yeah. my cousin found his Best, best, best friend, friend in college, but yeah, and I feel like, like you need to get that person. In yeah, school. you may not like you may not find someone, but that's just your years of high school to try to figure out what you really want to do going forward, pretty much. But that's a whole other topic. Okay, it is tip number seven. When you get in high school, join those clubs, and I'm talking oh, about yeah. sports, I'm talking about real clubs, math club, health science club, whatever you like. In high school, anything that you're interested in, there's they a club for Join it. that club because those activities, they do look yeah. good on college things, and they do help you. Like okay? me and he, uh, I don't even know, that's probably getting off the topic, but tell them about your, you getting your CNAs oh, just in high yeah. school. I was in, um, well, my main thing, because I want to go like into healthcare, so I did a lot of health classes, and I was in like in a lot of healthcare yeah. clubs, and I got my, I graduated with my CNAs, and I was like in math club, beta club, and those looked really good on yeah. my college application. If she wanted to, if she wanted to, she could have went straight into work and doing something similar to what she liked over the summer or, you know, something yeah. while school's out. And then also, within those clubs, considering that the club is going to have people who have 
since you joined a club that you like, it's going to have people who like the same things as you. So you will make more friends in those clubs. Connection. So listen to the announcements or whatever they have to say because they'll tell you, you where those clubs are. Tip number eight. Okay. This is just something real, okay? There's a lot of movies where high schools are in the movies and like with the bullies and stuff like that. That does not really go down like that in high school. I mean, I've seen it some may, stuff. It but may happen, like but more, you in more than likely stuff. it's not going to happen. Because I, I have lately, because y'all kids, I do not know what's wrong with y'all generation, but y'all some, some real psychopaths. Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry. But like, y'all be doing stuff like that. And I'm... But where I'm from, that don't happen. Yeah, I've like that don't happen. I've never even seen anybody get. And I've just been to multiple schools. I only been to one my whole entire life. But that don't happen where I'm from. And if you see that happening, don't just let that happen to somebody. Yeah. Because bullying is not okay, and you're gonna feel guilty if something happens to that person. Mm -hmm, you will. And it's that it's just not okay. I don't even want to get into it. Yeah, that's stuff crazy. like that is not okay, especially like, like when it's a gang of people on one person. You're a yeah. horrible person if you do that something like that to somebody because they don't even have a chance in defending themselves because mm -hmm. all of y'all against people. them. Yeah. No. But not only um I couldn't just the like bullying that. thing, but there's also things like there's just certain things that you can't do in high school that you may think you can do in high school when it kinda doesn't work like that. Like she said, it's still kinda like middle school just with extra Yeah. And a lot of high schools, they depict it like you have open periods. We had, we got one and it was like 45 minutes, but most, we're just one of the rare high schools. Most that don't. A, most high schools, you do not get no open period yeah. at all. So don't think that you're just going to be running these halls. No. You can't use your phone going classes and that's at most schools. Yeah. Hallways, probably. But Is classes don't think. that you went to in Virginia, did they have open periods? No. But we got out earlier. Yeah, we didn't have that extra time. Because y'all didn't. Remember you texted me all the time. It's like, why do y'all only go for that many times? Because our, our yeah, day would start know, at like eight something, and then I thought y'all was seven school early. seven fifty five. Because I know I always start at seven fifty five, but by seven thirty, y'all were already in school. I don't know. I just know we got out at two. But anyways, long story short, I don't care where you are, you don't have open periods. Because even with ours, even though our school day might have been longer, we're not for sure, because yeah. I don't remember. Um, we didn't get that open period yet. We didn't have it at first. We got it like, maybe like eight years ago. Tip, Tip. number nine. Okay, so write down all your assignments. Because I didn't do that yeah. in high school, but then when I got to college, I started like needing to do it. So if you make it a habit now, because I didn't really have that many assignments and I'm like good with memory. So, but if you start that habit now in college, that will already set you up for that. Yeah. So, Prepare write yourself. all your assignments, assignments down. There. Okay, so tip number 10. Um, don't be afraid to get out your comfort zone. Like you're gonna be in a bigger school, m most likely with different types of people all different types of people like you know um also don't be afraid to try new things because there's always going to be things that you did not see in middle school or things that you probably have never heard of that you think that you will probably never do that you might actually like end up doing and yeah and the more you get out of your current zone in high school the easier it makes it in college and we're just gonna leave that there Ooh, when i tell you when i tell you and last, but certainly not least, tip 11. Okay, as a freshman, people are, you know, they look at y'all like y'all are underdogs or whatever. Do not, and I repeat, do not let these upperclassmen run over you. Because at the end of the day, even though you are younger than them, you are still a person and you still deserve respect. Do not let them treat you any kind of way just because you're an underclassman. And always stand up for yourself and never act yeah. afraid. You have to think like, you're coming into this not knowing what you're expecting, really. Or not knowing the do's and the don'ts. And some, I know like a lot of upperclassmen that think they can just treat freshmen any kind of way. And that's that's not right. Stand up for yourself. Because I promise you, nine they times out of ten, you if you stand up for yourself, ain't none of them really about nothing. 
Yeah, because you will. And if they is about something, we could just be about something together. So what you want to do? <laughs> but they still won't mess with you. Whether you lose or you win the fight, At they ain't gonna they mess know, with you no more. Because they get, know. And also, if you ever have to get into a fight and you lose, that's horrible. But it's okay because that lets people know, yeah, I might lose, but I'm gonna I'm get not, back up. Yeah. And I always stand up for myself in this point blank period. So try me if you want. Uh, uh, um, you hear this? <laughs> yeah, she's having that problem right now. But I'm about to bust that open like a coconut because I'm not raising no sissy. Whether you lose <laughs> or you win. You need to at least stand up for yourself. Ain't that right, not? Yeah, you gotta go. Okay, now do you wanna... Do you have anything to say about freshman year? Do you have a last tip? Huh? Do you have do a you, last tip? Do you have anything to say about freshman year? Hurry up, our time running up. Enjoy it while you're there. Oh, that oh, means I love one. that. Let me just write that in. That is probably a good one because, I mean, you do have a lot of stuff to worry about. But the grades get harder. Well, yeah. actually, I'm lying. In high school, the grades do get harder, but 11th grade is the hardest year. And 12th grade is kind of hard at Burns, too. But that's what it was fine for me. 12th grade was fine for me, but everybody struggles so much in grade English. Was me. And 11th grade is hard because 11th grade, they focus a lot on English, so you have more papers and more hot mess. So. Yeah. Enjoy freshman year. But at my year. school, no one, no one likes um, 12th grade year because of the teachers. My 12th grade year, um, I was only taking two classes. So, well, actually my first semester I was taking four and it was fine. And then my second semester I was only taking two, which was also fine because I got home earlier. So, so thank you guys for watching and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and enjoy the ride on the road to hell because that's high school so good luck with that i'm done bye but <laughs>